I don't want to rush through this, but you know, I think we should be able to knock these out pretty easily, pretty quickly. So we have, they just want us to solve negative 2x plus 3 equals x. Negative 2x plus 3. Oh, that's. It is problem number three. Okay, so, and I'm going to say the same things over and over and over. I'm going to drill into your head. And, and again, I know that Miss Thomas uh, taught you a different one, said things differently. I'm not saying she taught you differently, she just said things differently. Um, I mean, you don't have her anymore, okay? So I just want to make sure, not to say her way is wrong and my way is right, but I want you to get, I, I say things a certain way, I want you guys using that so that you're not confused later on when they get more confusing. When we do this, okay, we have an X, can I put these two X's together? No. Yeah. No, why? Because there's an equal sign. Yeah, well, we're, they're what? They're on opposite sides, get that in your head. If they're on the same side, put them together. On opposite sides, you can't put them together, but we do get rid of one. Which one do I tell you to get rid of? Which one? The smaller ones. Which one's smaller? Negative 2x or? Negative 2x. So we add 2x, add 2x. Which is? These cancel. 3, three equals 3x. Three three x. And then are we done? Divide by 3. Are we done? No. When are we done? When it x is by itself. So we divide by 3 and we get? 1. x equals 1. x 1. Okay. Don't just write down x equals 1. Show your work, okay? So that later on you'll know how to. Do them when you're doing these on your own. Question number five. Okay, we have negative x minus one. Negative x minus one equals, uh, what do we have here? One third x plus three, one third x plus three. Okay. Now again, when you look at your assignment, they're gonna have pictures of graphs and stuff like that. That's not the way we're gonna do it. We're not gonna graph these, okay? Um, now, this is a, a, a process I'm going to show you guys that I know I've shown you a couple times this year, but not very often. This is something you really, really, really want to get this down because it makes things so much easier. For every math class you've ever taken, it'll make things easier. Do you guys like fractions? No. no. Me neither. No. I'm good at calculating, and I'm good at calculating fractions, but I'd rather have nice round numbers. I have a fraction in this one, so here's what you do. You do something called clearing your denominators, okay? And what that means is you multiply everything by the denominator. So in this case, we're going to times everything by what? Three. Three. So let's times everything by three. What's no. three times negative x? Negative three. three x. Three times negative one is negative three. Now how many times three times one third? Three. Well, three times one is three thirds, which is one. One what? One. One what? One one. One, one. one x. Okay. And then three times three nine. is nine. Why is this nicer? Two words. No fractions. No fractions. There's no fractions. You didn't like fractions. We got rid of them right away. Okay, question? Um, is that G supposed to be like, um, I feel bad for that G. Isn't it our birthday today? Yeah, it is. I feel bad for Caleb. Yeah, um, I don't know why Caleb did that. Though. Okay, so now what are we going to do? We have an X on each side, so get rid of the smaller one. Yeah. Add 3X. Add 3X. If we do that, we have negative 3 equals X, and 3X is 4X plus 9. Now, not to pick on them, but I know that Mauer struggles with this one. Left and right. Which, what do we need to get rid of to get x by itself? Four. We don't get rid of, we don't, hang on, time out. Do we get, is our goal to get rid of, time out. Is our goal to get rid of x? No. It's not to get rid of x, to get it by itself. Get rid of nine and what else? Four. Which first? Nine. Why? What makes it farther away from the x? The addition sign. So we minus nine, minus nine. We have negative 12 equals 4x. Are we done? Uh, Why aren't we done? X is not by Why aren't we done? X is not by so we divide by 4. Negative. No. X is negative, negative three. 3. X is negative 3. Okay. This track's hard. I'm not sure because basketball is going a little uh, later. So that got pushed back into my actual summer. Oh, you know that? I can't do it now. Yeah. Where would you hear that? I'm not saying. I'm pretty sure wrestling goes until like May, you know? We go to May. No, we go to March. Well, you go through March. I mean, March, March is Monday. March still, 16th. That's it, I bet it goes longer than that. You only got two more weeks? You got longer than that. Mm -hmm. I'll look on the schedule. I'm sure it you got It might be actually 26th. That's probably more like it. You go through all of March. Okay, so how are we going to do this one? Yeah, add minus x. So we do what? Four. Minus x. We minus x? Yeah. What's smaller, x or negative x? Negative x. So get rid of the negative x by oh, adding x. Add x. Then 2x. So 2x plus 4. We've got to put something over here. Zero. Yeah. 
Now what do we do? Get rid of which one? Why don't I get rid of the two first? Because two next to the x, get rid of the four, but minus equal. Negative four. So two x is zero minus four. Negative four. We divide by two, and we get four divided by, negative four divided by two, which is negative, negative two. two. Yeah, this is easy. Okay. Yeah. You should have did like a couple problems using letter x too. Well, I just want to make sure, because there's, there's some students that still struggle with this. x minus five, or x plus five, I think it says. x plus five equals. Negative 2x minus 4. Negative 2x. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Which x are we going to get rid of? Uh, Why? Because Why? Because it's smaller. It's smaller. So we have 2x. x plus 5 equals hmm? negative. He had one of those equations there. Negative 2x take away 4. So we added 2x to each side. 3x plus 5. So 3x plus 5 equals what? 4? Negative 4. Negative 4. Five to each side. Three yeah. x is negative four minus negative five nine. more is negative, negative nine. Five by, by three. three. Takes you just like that. You got to knock these out, guys. These are not hard. Okay, number eleven. I think twenty-six. Yes, ma'am. I don't think you have to actually graph it, do you? You don't have to graph it? When you're on the bigger, you just have to, you can just answer the question. You don't need to graph it? Okay, I think it's, they want Some us to graph it. They, I want to show you real quick what they thought would be a good idea. I think it's stupid, okay? I never in a million years would have said thought, I'm not saying you can't do it that way, but I never, and I asked Mrs. Adams the same thing. She goes, I would never would have done that. So um, what, what they would have you do is this. Like this last question, they would say, graph the line y equals x plus five, and then graph the line y equals negative 2x minus 4, and the, and the answer is where they cross. Yeah. Who cares? I would never, I just, I don't know exactly why. I, I don't know. It seems complicated. It's not wrong, but. It's complicated. Okay. All right, number 11. So we have half x minus 2. Think back to what we did earlier, a couple problems back, equals 9 minus 5x. What do you think we're going to do first? Times by three. Why? Because that's what the yeah. denominator is. Just to make and we're going to get yeah, times by two. What? We times by three last time. Make it easy. Why are we times by two? Because, because that's the denominator. The denominator is two. That gets, you don't have to do this, but if you do that, it makes it easier. all the fractions go away. Two times one is two. Two over two, two which is one. One, one what? One x. One x. Minus? No, 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 no. no. Four. 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 Equals, Equals nine. Eight. Eighteen. Minus? Ten. Again, what's the benefit of that? No fractions. no fractions. That's such a nice thing to do. You guys hate fractions, so do I. One step, they're gone. Okay? We're going to add 10x to each side. So 1x and 10x is 11x. Minus 4 is 18. Plus 4. Yeah, add 4 to each side. So 11x equals 22. X is 22 divided by 11, which is 2. And again, I have a feeling a lot of you guys are like, these are easy, so let us go. Well, I just want to make sure, I the main thing I really want you to do is not just review this stuff, but I also want you guys to be able to, wherever we can clear denominators, I really want you to get that down. That makes things so much nicer. Okay, number 13. Plus, there's a couple other things we still haven't talked about yet. Wait, in, in these questions? Yeah. It, it's okay. It, you'll, you'll, it's nothing real, real confusing, but it's something we haven't talked about. 5x minus 7 equals 2. Have we learned 7. it in the past? x minus 7 equals 2, x plus 1. This is one thing. Again, we haven't talked about this yet today. I'll distribute first. Say it again? Distribute first. Distribute. We haven't distributed yet because we haven't had to. Now we're going to. We're going to times by 2. So 5x minus 7 equals 2x, 2x plus. Once we do that, how is it different than the other questions? No fractions. Yeah, but how is it different than what we've been doing? Huh? Right, but once we distribute that, how does this problem look different than all the other ones? You're thinking way too hard, guys. Yeah, we are. How is this problem different than this problem? They're negatives. You're making it way too hard. I don't know. You know why I'm having a hard time answering it? You know what the difference between these two is? There isn't anything. They're the same question. They have different numbers. This is no different than those now. It's not any more difficult now. We had to distribute. So now what? 2x, negative 2x. Subtract 2x. 
Why'd you get rid of the two x? So three x minus seven equals two. Nine plus seven. Yeah, it's seven. Three x is two plus seven. X is two. Divide by three. Nine divided by three is. Once you distribute, same old stuff. Well, hang on. We got to talk about. There, there are some other ones that are a little bit. 3x minus 1 equals negative x. 3x minus 1 equals negative x plus 7. Plus 7? Okay, we'll try this again. How is this question different than the other problems? Uh, it's not. Yeah. It's the same thing. It, it's, it's easier because we don't have to distribute. Okay, so what are we going to do? Uh, plus x. Oh, add x. 3x and x is 4x. Minus 1 is 7. Four x is seven plus one. Divide by four. X is eight divided by four, which is two. Sixteen. Yep. Okay. Number seventeen. This is one that's a little bit different, but we have talked about it recently. You got to think about what we did when we did these types of problems four or five months ago, and what we've been doing just the last week or so. Seventeen. We have negative four, two minus x. We will. 4x minus 8. This is only, uh, I thought it was only. Okay, so let's distribute. So we do that, we're going to have negative 8 plus 4x equals 4x minus 8. Wait, they cancel. Yeah, which x are we supposed to get rid of? Don't look at the problem. What x are we supposed to get rid of? Small. Smaller. Smaller one. So, because, why? So, Wait, minus 4x no minus 4x. Wait, no solution. Yeah, no solution, because then it would equal to Time out, time out. These cancel, so we have negative eight equals. Did we get x by itself? Yes. No. No. We no. Didn't get Wait, no. Huh? We didn't get an x at all. Yeah. What happened? No See you later. Yeah. Now, when is negative eight? Hang on. What if it said negative eight equals negative eighteen? Oh, yeah. one solution. When is negative eight equals negative eighteen? No, never. So there'd be you'd write down no solution. When is negative eight equal negative eight? Always. So Always. is there? One solution. Oh, there's not one solution. Infinite. It's infinite. infinite. Be careful. If I give you two lines, there's three options. How many solutions does this one have? One. 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 Actually, because it gives you one exact answer. How many solutions does this one have? Zero. Not why? Because they don't touch. They don't touch. What do I give you this? You got to watch when I do it. First line, keep watching. Oh, that's infinite because they just ran Do those touch? Yes. They call the same an infinite number of answers, okay? Now, what if I said, what, could you have exactly two solutions? Is that okay? That is two solutions, yeah, but they're supposed to be what's? We're graphing what's? Circles? What? Lines. Is that okay? No. That's a line. That one's, no. by definition, a line has to be what? Straight. Perfect. Straight. There's no Perfect. such thing. So again, you have one solution, no solution. So this one has, what do we say? Infinite solutions. Okay? It can be anything. Okay? All right. 19. This, how many more do we have to have? Where does this go to? It goes to 28. 19. All right. So this one, what do we have here? Negative x minus 5 equals something. Excuse me. Negative 1 third, 3x. Plus five. Wait. What? Oh. OK, so what are we going to do first? Yes, ma'am? Can we times it all by two? That's what I was thinking. We can, but I tell you what, you don't need to. I'll show you why. In this case, you don't need to. Let's distribute the negative one third. What's a negative times a positive? Negative. Negative. And these threes cancel, so you have negative what? One. One. Negative one what? X. So negative x plus, what's a negative times a positive? What's five times one third? You just times the top by five. Five times five. one third would be five, five over three. 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 Now, you might be going, ah, you know, Monty just said we don't, you know, why don't we get rid of the fractions? We got fractions here. Yeah, but it's okay. Because what would we do next? Uh, Which x are we going to get rid of? They cross out. Wait, they wait. cross out. Chris, there's no solution. Well, let's see. What's on the left? Negative What's on the right? Yeah. Equals five. When is negative five equal negative five thirds? Never. 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 No There's no solution. There's no solution. 
no solution to that one. You could have, Lonnie, you could have done what you said, but it wasn't really necessary. Okay. All right, that was 19. Do we need to do more together or not? Oh, uh, yes, we do. Yeah, these are a little bit. Okay, a little bit. We have something we haven't talked about. 21. Four more to go. 21. Okay, so. If you're sitting there going, these are easy, I don't even need to write these down. I'll write this down. This is where it gets a little bit trickier. Okay, it says x minus 4 equals 3x. Okay, what are those bars? Absolute value. Absolute value, okay. Now, in case you forgot, just watch for a second here. If I give you the absolute value of x equals 7, that's still 7. What can I take the absolute value of and get 7 for an answer? Anything on the outside of it. Negative 7. Negative just negative 7? Negative 7. Negative 7 and 7. Because what's the absolute value of negative 7? 7. What's the absolute value of 7? 7. 7. Wait, so yeah. if anything on the, if, on the outside. Right, you remember that. What's in here can be this or it's opposite. It's opposite, okay? So, and it doesn't matter which side you do that with, okay? Right. What's in here? Negative 4. X minus 4. Could equal this, which is, which is what? 3x, or, negative three. or x minus 4 could equal negative 3x. Three. Three. Three well, which, these, these which of these do you need to solve? Both. 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 Okay, you got to solve both. How are we going to solve this one? Add 4. You want to add 4? There's an x on each side. You could add 4. It's not going to help. It's not going to hurt. Minus the x. Why do we minus x? We do that, we have negative 4 equals 2x. Yes. What? Watch. Huh? No, no. What's in here, x minus 4, could be this thing, 3x, or the opposite, 3x or negative 3x. That's why you have to put the, although if you don't put the negative, they are, they're literally the same. That's why you have to put the negative there. You divide by 2, we get negative 2. How do we solve this one? Minus x, I would have added, but that's okay. Minus x. What's over here? Negative 4 equals negative 4 x. Divide by negative 4 and we get 1. So is the answer negative 2 or 1? Both. Both. And you need both. Now the computer gives you a little hint because it says x equals box or box. That tells you there's two answers. When you do your next test. No. Nope, why? Not. How do you know they ain't going to be like that? What are your t I make the test. It's written. I'm not going to give you boxes. I'm going to say, give me the answers. Okay? I'm not going to give you the clue. It's not like I'm trying to get you. It's just I'm not going to give you boxes to fill in. Three more to go. 23. Okay, I think there's three more. That goes to 28, I think. 23. Yep. 3, 12, 12, 7. 23. So I have 2x, 2x, x plus 3. 2x, x plus 3. Okay, so what's the Okay, so what could 2x equal? What's outside? X plus 3. X plus three. Or now be careful here. Or 2x could equal the opposite of this. X minus negative, x. Negative, negative x minus 3. you got to negativize both of them. Negative x minus 3. This could be this or its opposite. Okay? How do we solve this? One step. So we have what? 2x equals. No, no. 1x. 1x oh, equals. Wait, yeah, one. How do we solve this one? Yeah, you're two x x. Three x equals negative three. Negative one. So which is it? Negative one or positive both. three? Both. both. And you gotta have both of them. Okay, two more to go. Twenty-five. And again, my goal is not to say that you get this assignment done today. We're just starting today. My goal is to get the whole mind stuff today so that tomorrow during your virtual day, I mean, I'm not saying you can't work on today, you'll have a little bit of time, you might get it done. Okay, if you really get out. How long take you, Ryan? Uh, like 25, 25 minutes. You might get to do the whole thing by yourself. Yeah, so it'll probably take you, take 10, 15 minutes to get the rest of this done. So, negative x plus 4 equals 2x minus 2. this, 2x minus 2. Okay, so what could negative x plus 4 equal? Uh, 2x minus 2. 2x minus 2. Or negative, or two negative x. x plus 4 could equal negative 2x. Plus 2. Yeah. You oppositize which of those? Both. Both of them. Okay. So we have to solve each of these. 
Okay? So how are we going to solve this first one? We're going to give it a negative x or two? Add x. So 4 plus equals 3x three three minus 2. And plus 2. Why don't we get rid of the 3 first? Because this is why. Yeah. It's not farther away. It seems farther away. I'm going to make you say that sometime this year. You're yeah, going to say I it. I still get I know, understand. Yeah, I just don't say it. 6 equals 3x. And the reason is, again, it's nothing against Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Thomas. It's just you're going to have me for two or three or four, two or three more years. Yeah. You better get used to the way I talk, because otherwise it's going to this is be easier for you. All right, so this one over here, what are we going to do? Get rid of negative x or negative 2x? Negative 2x. Why? Smaller. Smaller. What happens if we get rid of the bigger one? You can do that. It's harder. Why? What happens if we get rid of the bigger one? Not a fraction. Negative. You're going to have negatives, which is okay, but I don't like negatives as much. So x plus 4 equals 2. Last thing we got to do? Minus 4. So x is 2 minus 4, which is? Negative 2. Negative 2 and positive 2. Last one, 27. Absolute value of? Oh, where are we at? x plus 1, x minus 5. Okay. So absolute value of x plus one equals absolute value of x minus five. So what could x plus one equal? X minus five. X minus five. Or, or x plus one could equal plus negative x plus five. Plus five. The opposite ties both terms. Wait. Well, this one right here. It's okay. Well, it's minus x. Okay. Now you gotta be careful. You might be tempted to say no solution. You're not done yet. So it's either no solution or add x, 2x plus 1 equals 5, minus 1, divided by 2. So it's either nothing or 2. So what is it? 2. two. Okay. Now if it was nothing or nothing, you say what? No nothing. Okay, no solution. But it's, it's either no answer or it's two. Well, it's two. All right. You have the rest of the hour if you want to get this thing done.